I hope that you are doing well this Thursday evening. So my AliExpress package has finally arrived some 23 days later. So I'm super excited to be showing you all of the nail art products that I purchased. I'm going to put a photo up on the screen of the exact vendor that I purchased these items from in case you want to go directly to the website and check out their products. So this package is packaged very nicely. It is padded. Nothing is broken. Everything seems to be in order. So I'm already impressed with this vendor. So as you can see, immediately you can see some foils. You can see some rhinestones. You can see some stickers. So I'm just going to take everything out one by one and then show you. So we're gonna get started firstly with this gold rhinestone and I have a side-by-side -side of the rhinestones directly in the sun. So as you can see, there's not a lot of bling um, for a rhinestone compared to some other rhinestones that I got off of Amazon, but I will still figure out a way to use them in a nail design. This is another one of the same kind of rhinestone, but these ones are just a bit more pastel and I will put a side-by-side -side of these in the sun again so that you can see if they are bling enough for you. To be honest, they are quite um, dull, but I guess in the right angle and in the sun, there may be some shimmer, some bling. I also got a pink purple kind of rhinestone. All of these are flat backs, so you can just directly apply these onto base or top coat or you can use your rhinestone glue which I'm pretty sure you can get away with just using um, top gel to adhere these to your nails and the last one that I got in the rhinestones is this iridescent kind of clear rhinestone this one is extremely pretty um, there's not a lot of bling to this either but it will make for a very pretty design on your nails so if you decide to get one I definitely think maybe starting off with the clear one to see if you like it so let's move on so up next we have these flowers now they seem to be of like a shell material it's very shiny or pearl perhaps and there's a little iridescence to it i thought these was really cute like if you wanted to create acrylic flowers but you don't know how to do them i think these would be a really great substitute for them they are small enough that i feel that they will work well for medium length nails and up you could possibly get away with short nails, maybe natural, naturally short nails. I don't know. I, it depends on the design. But I thought these looked really well and probably could be matched with rhinestones, um, abalone shells, you know. So I think it's versatile. And there's quite a bit of pieces in here. So you're able to do multiple designs. And it's flat as well. So easy to adhere. So... Moving on, I'm sure you've seen these trendy little pom-poms everywhere on Instagram. And of course, I had to add this to my list. And when I first got these, I was like, what, what is going on? What is this thing? But then I realized that there's several of them stuck together. And it is flat pack, so you'll have to fluff it out yourselves. But I thought it was actually really cute and practical. And the fact that you can adhere the magnet and then remove it makes this very practical but I believe this would probably work well with longer nails because I do have medium on now. I don't know, it might work. I guess you can make it work. Um, but yeah, that's the size, not too big and not too small. moving on and also i know that this video is a bit long i didn't want to make multiple parts to this video so that's why i'm just putting everything in this video so these are some really cute black bows with a little gold center binding and i thought that these would look really well with some lace foils or even like a lace design and it's small enough that i think it would work really well on medium nails as well so and possibly short nails i guess it really depends on how you design the nails, but they are flat enough that you could probably just add some rhinestone gel to adhere them. They're not completely flat. There's like a little raised section in the middle, um, but they are flat enough that you could get away with 
uh, putting a little dollop of base gel and rhinestone glue. And there's quite a bit in here as well. I believe it looks like um, 10 pieces maybe. Yeah, it looks like about 10 pieces. So yeah, if you like this one, I definitely think um, you should add it to your inventory, possibly in multiple colors. I'll have to check. Now, I did start making my own acrylic powder as well as experimenting with DIY poly gel. So I wanted to get a little mixing plate that will allow me to mix because I kind of use some dollar store um, glass coasters and I realized that products started to stick to the glass coasters. So I wanted something that was a little bit more practical. And I think if you want to experiment with mixing your own poly gel, maybe even mixing your own gel polishes together to create some custom colors whatever it is that you want to mix i think you should have something a separate tool for it to help you uh, experiment a little bit more Moving right along to our foils, which is another favorite of mine. I really do love foils, even though I struggle adhering them from time to time. I, I, I really am obsessed with foils and we have so much girly girly colors. We've got some animal prints. We've got a bit of floral. We've got some mermaids. Oh, we have just a little bit of everything. And I think if there's someone that is obsessed with pink and multiple rainbow colors, they would really enjoy this foil selection. So our next foil selection is an earthy, camouflage, obsessed, you know? I really thought that this was something really new that I have not seen before. Um, and it just, it has a lot of potential. Like, especially this one, like that reminds me of Minecraft. I don't know if you are familiar with that game, but it does remind me. And it has a little bit of everything. And the only thing that's missing, I think, from this would probably be like a pink camouflage because this is a lot of blue and green but I thought this was really cute really different and something new my next set of foil is these like newspaper type I completely was obsessed with these when I saw them I thought they were really unique and really different and I have a few ideas of how I'm going to be using these I actually haven't seen much of these used in designs so you know maybe I'll do like a newspaper series or something like that but I really do love experimenting with not so unique and not so popular foils and this just happens to be one of those foils so definitely looking forward to using this one Moving right along, we have a selection of beautiful marble foils. And I want to say, I don't know, I wouldn't, I don't know how I would describe maybe boho or I don't know, but they are really pretty. Like that pink marble and that purple marble, even the blue marble is stunning. I probably would add a little bit of bling to this because um, the goal isn't as obvious so if you apply these i think you should probably use like a gold glitter polish over certain areas of it just to give it some shine because you know when you hit the sun you probably won't be able to see the gold so that would be a wonderful diy marble design and let's move on to the final nail foil selection and these are the furs the i i actually haven't seen these anywhere as yet this pink that is stunning and they look so real there has to be a way that you could probably um, encapsulate this and give this like a really nice 3d effect so i'm definitely gonna have fun with these furry little nail foils If you have made it this far, well done to you. You have reached the star of the show, which are these stickers. I am a sticker-obsessed addict. I have sticker issues. 
I do. I love stickers and I'm going to speed this up because this is at least 30 minutes. It's like almost five minutes of each one of these. So I had to speed it up um, for you to be able to see. And you are going to simply love these designs. Now, I, I've been talking. I don't want to distract you. So you might want to pause and go right back and then start again so that you catch all of the designs that's in this set. I'm going to be quiet a little bit now. Okay, so the first set of stickers are done. I still have five more to show you. So we've still got at least another 10 uh, or 15 minutes left. Um, so I don't know, grab a coffee, grab some tea, grab a cocktail or something, chill with me just for a little bit lo longer. I promise you, you're going to enjoy these stickers. I know I certainly did. Look at these stickers here. I have not seen these anywhere. These are like French tip stickers. And I thought that was such a unique idea, such a unique concept. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and show you each one of the stickers. At some point, I was rushing because I, I was trying to avoid making this video extremely long. And I ended up tearing one of these stickers. So I was a little bit bummed about that. Also, if you have made it this far, again, thank you so much. I really appreciate the views and there are little tips on the screen being displayed and additional info will be in the description box. Make sure you watch this video in its entirety so that you get to understand exactly what's going on. I'm pretty sure by now you know what is going on. So we got, we have two, we got another one and this one has like little, oh, it looks like um, a bustier or, you know, waist trainer or something. Oh, that's so cute. So we got two in this mix. Oh, that's gorgeous. I really like that. I'm going to definitely look for some more of those um, French tip type stickers. Okay, let's move on to our next set of stickers, starting off with some stars and some little abstract stickers.
Ooh, does that say, does that say the F? No, doesn't say it. <laughs> I was about to say, these stickers be spicy. Oh, so we have some ones that look like the smile line. So that's like a gold French smile line. So that's going to be nice if you want to put that over like some pink and white signs or any or any colorful um, French tip design. Okay guys, we are down to the last two stickers. Have you fallen asleep yet? I hope not. I hope that you're still here with me looking at these stickers and planning out exactly what those tips and the additional info in the description box is telling you to do. I thought these roses and these little flowers were really cute. Um, they would probably do very well as encapsulated designs. I think they're a little bit too unrealistic to be just on the top of the nail. Um, but I definitely would be experimenting with these to see how they look. I like the butterflies, though. The butterflies have um, a little dark outline, so it's going to make it a little easy for for you to be able to see that design on the fingers. Oh, that, these flowers are cute. I think I have a foil in those flowers as well. This is a very versatile set of stickers. You know, some have flowers, some have petals on them, some have um, butterflies. So, yeah, this one, this one is interesting. Okay, we are here for the last mile uh, for the home stretch. So these are the last pair of stickers, starting off with some USA stickers. Followed, oh, these ones say Hello Spring. So these are very timely for right now. And there seems to be like fake rhinestones on them to give you that kind of rhinestone look. Well, that's different. I, mean, I don't think I've seen designs like these before and that's nice in case you don't actually own your own rhinestones i probably would still put a rhinestone over it because i want it to bling a little this one says coffee that probably would go really well with the newspaper nail foils i showed you earlier yeah so these ones are really cute
So we are winding down to the very last few stickers. And I just want to say thank you so much if you were able to watch the video in its entirety or even five minutes or even 10 minutes, however much minutes you're able to contribute and to the views. I really appreciate it and wanted to thank you. And in an effort of saying thank you, there were some tips displayed on the screen with specific wording. Obviously, you can put all those words into a sentence and you will understand exactly what they are for. Additional inf information, again, will be down in the description box so that you can understand. And this is just my way of giving back. I know that I have a lot of products here from AliExpress and from previous hauls, and I want to do something special for you. So I look forward to seeing your responses and I will see you in the next video.